Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and today I'm going to show you how to allow your phone to switch between different, or to change, fix the PinePhone keyboard specifically to allow you to change between the TTY screens. By default, the kernel-based driver does not allow that, but we're going to install a uh, userLAN driver, and I have instructions pulled up right on my computer over there that will be in the description. These are what I based my instructions on. We're gonna go a little, a little in a different direction, but this is mostly what we're gonna do. So anyway, first thing we have to do is you have to update. This video will assume that you have already updated your installation, and this is on Plasma Mobile. Manjaro, it may be different on other operating systems, so maybe the instructions will work for you, maybe they won't. And I'm going to also assume that you have shimmed the things in the back of the keyboard case to make it work like that. So first thing we need to do is we need to cd into slash boot. And now we need to do sudo nano I'm using nano for this, you can use whatever text editor you want, but it's recommended. It's easiest to do it in the terminal because you can just use the keyboard. And then we do boot.txt. Okay, now I need to type in my password. I need to remove that part. So now we need to go down and find the start env boot args line. Oh, right here. We can just go like this and push the left arrow on the line below it. That's function, and then these keys down here. Whoops. Now, we need to type in kb151.0.0. Disable, and then I need to use the keyboard for this software keyboard because I can't get the uh, I can't get underscore working on the keyboard for some reason. It's supposed to be seven, I think. Yeah, it's supposed to be the seven key, but that gives me the same as what's on the nine key there, which is just a dash for some reason. I don't know. Now we need input. Disable input. Okay, now we do control X. Y, enter, and that's saved. Now what we need to do is actually, I should have gone into here. F it says here after modifying run pp-uboot-mkscr to regenerate the uboot boot script. This is only on the regular PinePhone. I don't know if this applies to the PinePhone Pro. So sudo. I'm just going to use the keyboard. sudo pp dash uboot dash mkscr. And it has, it has regenerated the, the uboot script there. So now what we need to do is sudo pacman dash capital S Y U P P K B for PinePhone keyboard dash tools then run that and it will install it. And now we need to oh no. And now we need to sudo system CTL enable ppkb dash i2 to c dash input d dot service and now it's it's uh, that service is enabled and what we need to do is reboot and then we can test it we'll be right back now that we've restarted we can now switch to a different TTY, so you'll want to do Control Alt Pine Key, and then three 
for example, that will, there we go. You can see that right there. I'll zoom in on it in post, but that's the text for the TTY. And then you can sign in. And now we're, now we're signed in. If you want to go back to the regular one, on mine, it's Control Alt F2. Control Alt Pine Key F2. There's F1. I don't know why it just shows the KDE logo, but go over there, and that's the regular one. Goodbye.